So how did the US fighter jet F-22 shoot down China's spy balloon? And why did they choose an F-22 aircraft? Let me first tell you about the F-22 Raptor. The F-22 Raptor is a fifth-generation, single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather stealth tactical fighter aircraft developed for the United States Air Force. It was designed to maintain air superiority and to penetrate enemy defenses with its advanced capabilities. Some of the key features of the F-22 include stealth technology, super cruise capability, and advanced avionics systems that provide unparalleled situational awareness. The F-22 is considered one of the most advanced air superiority fighters in the world and is only used by the United States. Currently, there is no publicly available information which suggests that F-22 Raptor has shot down any enemy aircraft. But then we also have to consider the fact that it is a highly classified aircraft. Till now, the United States has not sold the F-22 Raptor to any foreign countries, not even their allies, because the technology and capabilities of this aircraft is tightly controlled by the US government. Plus, the export of the F-22 is restricted by US law. Having said that, the details of its operational use are also classified, and the US Air Force has not released any information on the F-22's combat record. Now, just like any weapon system, even the F-22 Raptor has some limitations and weaknesses. Some of the most notable weaknesses of the F-22 include number one, high cost. The F-22 is a highly advanced and expensive weapon system, and its development and procurement cost was a significant burden for the U.S. defense budget. The second point is limited weapon load. The F-22 has a relatively small weapons load, which limits its ability to carry out longer missions. The third point is maintenance requirements. The F-22 has a complex design and requires significant maintenance, which increases its operational cost and reduces its availability for missions. The fourth point is sensor limitations. Although the F-22 has advanced sensors, its sensors can be jammed or deceived by enemy electronic warfare systems, reducing its effectiveness in combat. And the fifth point is limited production run. The production of the F-22 was limited, and its small fleet size reduces its ability to sustain losses in a major conflict. So these are some of the limitations of the F-22, but it is still considered one of the most capable air superiority fighters in the world. Recently, it has come in the news that on Saturday, February 4th, the United States government has used an F-22 aircraft to shoot down a Chinese spy balloon that was seen off the coast of South Carolina in the Atlantic Ocean. There's even a video footage. Watch the video first. Oh yeah! Here we go, baby! It is said that the F-22 aircraft used an expensive AIM-9 Sidewinder missile to destroy the balloon. The AIM-9 Sidewinder is a short-range air-to-air missile developed by the United States, and it is used both by the US military and its allies. The missile is highly maneuverable and has been widely used by the US and its allies in a variety of combat operations. It is one of the most widely produced and used air-to-air -air missiles in the world. The missile uses infrared heat-seeking guidance to target and has been updated with improved guidance and warhead technology over the years to maintain its effectiveness. I'll tell you more about the capability of this missile in a while. The cost of a single AIM-9 Sidewinder missile is estimated to be between $150,000 to $300,000 or more. And this is where an important question was raised. Why did the US Air Force have to use such an expensive jet and an expensive missile to take down something relatively harmless? Even if this balloon was a spy balloon, it would only gather intel. It is not going to blast or do any harm. The reason I am saying this is because the jet and the missile is expensive. United States very well have alternative tools for taking down a balloon. And even if we assume that it was their wish to use F-22, fine, agreed. Who are we to question them? But then, instead of a sidewinder missile, they could have easily used the aircraft's gun system. The F-22 has a lightweight 20mm Gatling gun. Now, give me some more time, I will explain why they use the missile and not the gun. Now, according to the US Department of Defense, the F-22 fired the Sidewinder missile at the balloon from an altitude of 58,000 feet. The balloon at the time was between 60,000 and 65,000 feet, way above the F-22. 
Now what you need to understand is that most fighter jets operate at a lower altitudes. And for a minute, even if we assume, let's say even if a pilot takes the aircraft to such a high altitude at which the balloon was flying, there are questions with regard to those aircraft's operational capabilities at those heights. So this is where you have to realize that the reason US government has used an F-22 Raptor is because this was an opportunity to showcase the operational capabilities of F-22 at a higher altitudes. As I've already mentioned, currently there is no publicly available information which suggests that the F-22 Raptor has shot down any enemy aircraft. The US Air Force or the US Department of Defense has not released any information on the F-22's combat record. Rather than sending it to Ukraine and putting it up for a dogfight against the Russian aircrafts, this is comparatively a better and harmless way of showcasing high altitude operational capabilities of F-22. And if you look at China's statement, they said, they were using the high altitude balloons for scientific research and weather monitoring and not for espionage purposes. Now personally, even I do not believe China's statement completely. Because according to the United States, it is said that China launched this balloon from mainland China. The balloon then entered US airspace above the Aleutian Islands on January 28th and entered Canadian airspace above the Northwest Territories on January 30. The balloon then crossed into the US in northern Idaho on January 31st and Montana on February 1st, where it was spotted over Billings. From Billings, the balloon continued to fly across continental United States for four days, wherein it passed over many sensitive US military installations, and finally it was shot down off the coast of South Carolina. United States even said that the balloon had surveillance equipment, which was different from a typical weather monitoring equipment. They even said that this balloon had motors and propellers, and it was intentionally made to travel across North American continent and the Chinese are saying it is just a balloon for scientific research and weather monitoring. And if you look at the United States statement, they are narrating the entire pathway of this balloon while passing over a number of American states. Now, if at all whatever United States is saying is true, and they had this much of information, then why did they allow this balloon to pass across US continent and made it a national security threat? They could have taken it down well before. The US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, has even cancelled his trip to China, where he was scheduled to meet the Chinese president. So who is telling the truth and who is lying? I leave it up to you to decide. Anyhow, let's come back to the main question. Why did the US used F-22 and the Sidewinder missile? The F-22 took off from the Langley Air Force Base in Hampton, Virginia. For this mission, the F-22 Raptor's call sign was Frank. It was done to give it a historical touch. In World War I, there was an American pilot called 2nd Lieutenant Frank Luke who shot down 14 German surveillance balloons. That is why they used this call sign for this mission. And technically speaking, the United States shot down this balloon within the 12 miles radius of US oceanic airspace. As I said, the F-22 used an AIM-9 Sidewinder missile. This missile uses infrared heat-seeking guidance to target, but then in recent times it has been updated with improved guidance system. Now I want you to understand this. The Chinese spy balloon had no heat signature, so how did this missile hit the target? As I said, in recent times, this missile has gone through a lot of upgradation. So this is the AIM-9X Sidewinder missile. What is unique about this missile is that AIM-9X uses the infrared spectrum to detect differences in light and not just temperature to hit the target. Because the balloon is white in color and it stands out in a blue sky. Before launching this mission, all nearby airports were shut so that no civilian aircraft could land or take off. The AIM-9X missile's infrared imaging system is controlled from pilot's joint helmet mounted queuing system. And all the pilot has to do is lock the missile on target by simply pointing the missile's IR imaging system by looking at a target. And then if you can see from this video, the F-22 was at an altitude of 58,000 feet and the balloon was at 60,000 to 65,000 feet. This is the trail of the F-22 Raptor. The F-22 then fires the Sidewinder missile. And then you can see the trail of the missile disappears after some time. For a second, you may think that the missile is here. But then the balloon is destroyed. It looks as if the missile disappeared. That means the motor or the engine of the missile stopped. And that is why we don't see the trail. And more importantly, the missile hit the base of the balloon. That means the precession of the infrared imaging system of the missile can be accurately positioned to a very small degree from the pilot's helmet. But then if you look up on the internet, you will find that the F-22 does not have joint helmet mounted queuing system. And this is where you have to understand that that is an old news. From this mission, it is clearly visible that currently the F-22 Raptor has integrated the helmet mounted queuing system. 
So this is the whole story and this is the whole reason behind using F-22. The US government wanted to showcase high altitude operational capabilities of F-22 Raptor and also the capabilities of AIM-9X Sidewinder missile. This mission was also the first air-to-air -air kill for the F-22 Raptor and that is the reason now the US Air Force has put a balloon shaped decal on the side of F-22 Raptor. The US Navy is still searching for the balloon's wreckage in the Atlantic Ocean. That's it, this is the whole story so far. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.